Yo, 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 what's up guys? Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, my very, very first playthrough. We're continuing our story after Oracle of Seasons, and in the first episode, pretty much what happened is we met Nairu, who ended up being possessed by this lady named Varen, who took her to the past and is trying to use her powers to cover the world in darkness by forcing all of the villagers to do a bunch of manual labor and build a gigantic tower towards the sky. And she also tried to kill the Maku tree, and we saved the Maku tree's life, and then the Maku tree told us to go find the eight essences of time to help restore her memory and save the world or something. I don't know, we're just, we're going to the first dungeon right now, I believe. We just entered the very scary Yawl Woods. Or Yol. Is Yol a word? I haven't heard of it. And if it was a five letter word, I could use Wordle to find out if it's real, but I can't since it's four letters. No way! It's too scary! It's pitch black inside that grave beneath the tree! Shut up. It's no good if you get scared. Besides, it might come out! Aw, oh, look at the kids peer pressuring each other to do very dangerous things and then chickening out because they're all just kids very afraid this music seems way too uplifting to be the music for a graveyard <laughs> like what's going on here <laughs> Ooh, secret passage so dark okay so so far we have two of the same items from oracle of seasons we have the ember seeds along with the shovel. We got the graveyard key. Okay, this game better have Dompe. This game doesn't have Dompe. I'm gonna freaking riot. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on Twitter and shout towards the abyss about it. And Nintendo will care about what I have to say because Nintendo cares about all of its fans complaints on the internet. Okay, yeah, that's not true in the slightest. Oh look, we can get through the gate. Oh, that gate just disappears completely. All right, that's normal. <laughs> okay, there's a little scary house. Got some crows that were just eyeballing us. We have Casper, the friendly ghost. And... What is this, the first dungeon? Level one, Spirit's Grave. Ooh. Is this like the first instance of the spirit Halloween stores? Come on, it's not quite Halloween time. They seem, they seem to be starting early. It's getting earlier and earlier each year. What's up, Stalfos? Can I pick up any of these pots? The baseline to this song sounds very, very similar to the baseline in that one level in Pikmin 2 with the water wraith called the Submerged Castle. It's like a very eerie, just like really weird, deep bass sound. Did I do something? Can I push these? Hey, we can. What is this? It's a cube. I did it. <laughs> okay, that seems like it could introduce some interesting puzzles. It had different colored sides too. I wonder if the different colors do anything weird. I also wonder if any of the dungeons have weird shapes in this game like they did in Oracle of Seasons. Push your tongue away, ghosts. No one wants to see that. Did these move? I am too much of a weakling. My god, what's going on here? Oh no, I blocked the way. 2D dungeons are kind of fun to play in my opinion. I don't think they're necessarily the most fun to watch because nothing too crazy is happening in them, but I still think they have some of the most interesting puzzles because you can get a bit more complicated with puzzles when you're in 2D without confusing the people playing them too much. Once you add a third dimension, you kind of have to simplify things a bit too much or you're going to overwhelm the players a lot of the time. Okay, we're just running around aimlessly in this dungeon. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're looking for. But hopefully we find it soon, whatever it is. Dude, so many people were excited to see me play this game, though. 
You know, a lot of people seem to really enjoy the Oracle of Seasons Let's Play, but a lot of people seemed more excited about this Let's Play than that one. So that has me wondering, what about this game is getting people so excited? Has to be something good. Do I gotta hold that down? Oh, I don't. That's not what I was expecting. Gosh, oh, but now there's no going back. We're stuck. So I don't think I can pick up the pots. Oh, no, we're not stuck. That was just for a Gasha seed? <laughs> I don't need that. So the Gasha seeds, we plant them, they grow into trees, and then each tree has a nut that gives us something special of sorts. Okay, looks like we're not going the other way. Oh yeah, we are. Catch my moving platforms. There we are. Can I make it? Can I make it? No! This platform is just an unripe banana. Smoky. Just a small little fry. Yeah, okay, I'll go down into this room first. Whoa, do we have a mini boss? Mini boss time. Ooh! Chubby ghosts! And he has little sperm with him. Oh, no, 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 no! I made him mad. Okay, get back, get back. Can I block him with my shield, maybe? Might as well try before I start getting all my... Before I start getting all the, why aren't you using your shield comments? And it's because I'm bad at using my shield and never know when to use it properly. Okay, that should teleport us back to the entrance of the dungeon, which we shouldn't need to do right now. Ooh, are we gonna get the boomerang in this dungeon? What do we do in this room now? Uh, I guess we're backtracking. We'll have to go back to the dungeon entrance. I don't see why I would have to. Okay, back to the cube room. Let's open that up. Is there anywhere else to go? We can go up. Oh, and then we have... Dungeon map! What's the shape of the dungeon? Is it supposed to be a middle finger? What? Why is the dungeon so mad? <laughs> Who hurt you, dungeon? Oh crap, I have to go back this way. Go back in business. Okay, now we can get this treasure chest. And the compass. Let's find the rest of these keys. Wait, what? Don't do this to us. I'm gonna go back around. Oh, it's gonna make me circle all the way back around again. Nothing can stop us. We're all the way up. Okay, there's a treasure chest somewhere in this room. Oh, I found it. That was easy enough. Oh, that was like the easiest small key ever. How did I miss that? <laughs> okay, is there also one? How do I get to this room? Okay, back through the mini boss room. And got more gremlins. They're back. The Grammys. Now we're on the far end here. Gotta be very precise with your block pushing. Don't screw it up. Or it might be the last mistake you ever make because you'll be stuck in a room forever. Because for some reason, you can only push the blocks one time before they become immobile. <laughs> I don't know why that is. It's never truly explained to you. Oh. Whoa! Croissant! Let's go! Okay, I honestly wasn't really expecting the croissant so early. Power bracelet! We're strong now. And we still got to equip it, unfortunately. But now we can start moving those pots around. Ooh. Link is gonna be pushing P. He's pushing P. Pushing P. Pushing P. Pushing P. Hey, pushing P. <laughs> I love my humor. Okay, okay, excellent, excellent. Like Mr. Burns. Now we should be able to go through the rest of the dungeon. Ooh, a ring. 
So does this game have a completely different set of rings in comparison to Orkula Seasons, or is there an overlap of the same rings? And us transferring them over might mean that we're just gonna get duplicates of certain rings? Makes the most sense to me. Okay, I can also just, you know, pick those up. Boss key, let's go. Wait, can I burn this over here? Oh my god, I can burn the wall. You gotta be kidding me in here. Okay, well, at least I figured it out, huh? Snakey snake. Slithery, slithery snakes in here. Is that a key? It better be. Of course the wall was just burnable. I was trying to do a puzzle that didn't even exist. It was just for a ring. What? Just for a ring? What am I supposed to do with that? I need a key. Oh my god, I think it is. It was just the boss door. Wow, I could have done this the whole time. Wait, it's not, it's not Halloween. You can't just do this. This boss fight seems like it'd be way more appropriate for Oracle of Seasons than Oracle of Ages. Is that just me? Oh, what the heck? He lost his body for a second. Did I, did I need to throw the jack-o'-lantern? Let him do his jumping. Uh, okay. Oh, who is that? Hello, little guy. I probably shouldn't throw his head back on top of him. He's just using it as a defense. Okay, take it. Not for you, not for you, sir. Little ghosty boy. Well, that was easy. Okay, <laughs> sure, sure. A heart container. Having five hearts already seems a little bit overpowered. The eternal spirit. I thought it said spirited for a second. Even after life ends, it speaks across time to the heart. Aww. We love some good heart in our video games. Does the Maku Tree get to talk to us in between each dungeon in this game? Like the last one? Yeah! Her leaves look different. They go back and forth instead of little spirals. It's me, the Maku Tree! I hear an essence echoing in the western woods. Can you go there? Why are you sending me to the other side of the map now? Come on. Why so far away? Okay, ooh, look, here's the tower in the very center of the map. Is there a different overall map for the different eras that we can find the world in? And I'm wondering, ooh, is that Maple? Or does she have a sister named like... I don't know if there's anything Wait, what? I didn't know she could just miss you like that. <laughs> Maple, why? <gasps> Casper! Someone finally came. This headstone blocks my path to the afterlife. I'm actually below here, right? I'd appreciate it if you could help me out. Uh, sure. Can I push this? Whoa. What is this? Aw, what a cute little guy. You must have moved my headstone. That means I can move on to the afterworld. My heart lifts at the thought of it. Thanks. Yeah. Is Sabrosia in this game? I'm so curious if it is. He's back. You came out. Since I'm moving on, I don't need this anymore. Take it. I hope you can reach the afterworld soon too. No, don't hope that for me, please. The Poe Clock. It lightens the heart. Ooh, does the postman want this? He was hoping to get a clock. Yeah, it seems like it's the beginning to a trading quest. The overarching trading quest that all Zelda games tend to have. Okay, let's get out of these woods. I'm tired of all these creepy trees just staring at me with the same really weird expression on their face. Looks like they're making the colon three face. Alright, back to the line of village. Doo, doo, doo. Ooh, we can buy stuff now. Let's go ahead and buy this Gasha seed. Yes, sir. And there's nothing else really good at the shop. Super lame, super lame. Ooh, we got some more seeds. Let's get the embers glowing. And we can come down here. Continue opening this overworld bit at a time. Happy the menu is so snappy in this game. We even have some dirt up here in the future. 
Wait, is this considered the future or the present? I mean, technically, wouldn't be the present be wherever you are? Because if you time travel, I guess the present's like wherever you're from. I think this is Link's original time zone, you know? Uh, I think that's a dead end. Gotta turn back. Okay, we beat a dungeon. We gotta go talk to Farp again. Wait, where's Farp? Oh, they're actually doing different stuff, and he's still running from us. Farp is very shy. What kind of child were you, Mario? Energetic? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call myself an energetic child. Quiet, perhaps? I wasn't quiet either. <laughs> were you weird? Yeah, that sounds more accurate. You were. I never would have guessed. Yeah, you know. I think everyone watching the video saw that coming. They're like, attacking toucans? Weird? Yeah, <laughs> adds up. Can I talk to him? Dang, he sucks. Hey Mario, Farp is doing well. And I can teach you everything about trees. The contents of a Goshen nut depend on where the seed was planted. If you find a good spot, tell me. Uh, if I find a good spot, I'm going to keep it secret for myself because I'm going to be a selfish hoe. Yeah, let's go talk to the Maku tree again. Hey girl, hey! Oh, she just wants us to go to the woods. But be sure to come back! Oh. Yeah, maybe I don't want to come back. I'm not really down for a tree crushing on me. It doesn't sit right for some reason. Oh! Oh! 30 roops! How many can we hold? I'm guessing 200 at the moment. Alright, so let's just go over to the west. West coast, best coast. Screwed up, screwed up. Wait, is this my Gasha tree right here? Or did I plant my Gasha tree in the past? <laughs> I already can't remember! It's kind of different from Oracle of Seasons and Ages. Like, in Oracle of Seasons, you could like switch between the areas really, really fast. Or maybe you can in this game too. Can we just get a rod that allows us to change between the time zones? It's not time zones. Do we get an age rod that allows us to just quickly switch between the ages, like, on a whim? I hope so. Sounds pretty awesome. Who is this? I'm so hungry, my stomach hurts. I'm hungry! Pardon me. I just thought you could help. I'm hungry! Dude, this man's hangry. Let's go get him some Jimmy John's. Uh, da, 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 da. How far west are we? We're getting there. That tr those trees look awfully suspicious. Why did this music get so optimistic all of a sudden? It's like eerily optimistic. I don't like it. Okay, definitely not my favorite track I've heard in this Zelda game. I can get out of here ASAP. Whoa, what kind of house is that? Does Toph live there? It looks like something an earthbender would build in a, in a gif while traveling around. Ooh, maybe Gorons live there. It almost seems like we're gonna have a lot of the same weapons, if not all the same weapons. That's the vibe I'm picking up. Whoa! Are these stray fairies? This is our playground. Won't you play hide and seek? If you can't find the three of us, you can't go on. We'll hide, so try to find us. Oh, jeez, Rick. Well, let's pay attention. There's one in the rock. One's in the bush. Is he gonna hide in the treasure chest? Oh, bush as well. Okay, please tell me they don't move around. This reminds me of searching for the bunnies at the beginning of Mario Galaxy. Okay, these woods aren't like the lost woods, are they? They're not like moving around on us, are they? Hi, girl. Okay, this is pretty easy so far. Whoa, okay, these are acting very strange. It's like not staying consistent whatsoever. <laughs> it is like the lost woods, oh no. Okay, so we got this one. That's the same thing. This is different. Oh my god. Okay, here's one. 
Wait, was it not here? Is it this one? Are these not the same thing? Oh gosh. What? Oh, oh no. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Why aren't they there? I saw her go inside that bush. No, I don't quit. What? <laughs> I don't know where the exit is. Oh, this is the one right here. I was at the wrong spot. It looked very similar. The last one is the hardest. No. I'm the hardest. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, this is so confusing. I'm gonna go up, down. I'm gonna go up again. Is this it? Was it this rock right here? Yeah, let's go. What a strange woods. Why have you found us all? You're good, mister. Mr. Rogers in your neighborhood. Okay, we won't tease you anymore. We'll put the forest back in order. Thank you. Jeez. Let's play again? So maybe not. <laughs> I have things to do, you know? I'm trying to save the world and all. You won't find us next time. Yeah, probably won't. Oh, here. Is this the right way? Whoa, what happened? What did I do? No, not the house. I'm sorry, Toph. Maku Tree's gonna call us out, huh? How pissed is she? Mario, are you alright? Now you can't get inside. The rock you blasted was a support stone that held up that cave. That's not how caves work. Maybe there's something in Nairu's house that can help. Why don't you go look? You're gonna make me walk all the way back to Nairu's house? No respect for my time. Alright. Back to Naira's house. Impa still here? Could there be a hidden room somewhere? I have felt drafts from above. Uh, I'll check it out. Whoa, that was a weird sort of blinds I went through. Whoa, instrument? La musica, the harp of ages. Go in the music direction. Okay. The Oracle of Ages, you are holding an instrument called the Harp of Ages. Also known as the Hoa. But it is not by mere chance that you now hold that harp. You are a hero chosen by the currents of time. Your arrival means I am not in this age any longer. I hid the harp here, knowing this could happen. I entrust the harp to you. By playing certain tunes on the Harp of Ages, you can travel through time. Let me teach you the tune of Echoes. Ooh. I prefer the tune of Reverb. It's a more subtle form of echoes. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. It unlocks the powers of time portals found across this land. Okay, so it's kind of like the stumps, I guess. We have to go through a specific portal or area. You can't just do it anywhere. We may learn more tunes that let us travel through time more freely. Uh, please, chosen hero, protect this land from the clutches of evil. I'm counting on you. I'm just gonna play music and become a rock star and get lots of ladies and drugs. That's what I'm here for. And we're back. What an interesting attic she has. Oh wait, no, I think we were in a basement. Guess what I found, Impa? A butt plug. The world is falling apart, oh no. I'm also falling apart, Impa. Mario, that's the Harp of Ages. Maybe you can use it to open time portals and sail through time. The cave has crumbled in this age, but perhaps in the past you can find a way in. Oh, is that so? Can we use it out here? The harp looks kind of funny. The big green thing next to it. We got a harp and then a big thing of cabbage. Before I go in there, what's up here? Rolling Ridge. They see me rolling my ridge. And it's a dead end. Okay, I guess we're gonna go take our little portal. Should we have to reset it each time? That's kind of annoying. Yeah, why is Link only playing quarter notes? They said I'm more like eighth notes, but I was only seeing quarter notes on screen. Clinching intensifies. 
Whoa, it seems like we're in a completely different area now. Okay, we're back in the past. What's new? Not much so far. Okay, first I'm gonna go talk to the mailman. What was this, another portal? Okay, I think this is how we get back to the present. Can I play this minigame now? I have the money to. Yeah. Uh, sure. Oh, it's a, it's a batting cage. Okay, red is negative 10 points. Oh. The price is based off of your score after 10 pitches. Okay, I'm excited for this. How does this work? How fast are they? I'm scared. Oh, man. Negative 50! Okay. At least you can't go... Oh, no! <laughs> At least you can't go below zero points. Why is this so hard? I literally can't hit a single one. <laughs> I'm gonna back up. There we go, jeez. Yay, we're in the positives, baby. No! Dang it! Not negative 20! This is hard. Ooh, that's the big points, right? Wait, no! Wait, so I have to hit the blue ones. That's kind of difficult. Okay, how many points are we trying to reach here? Negative 50 for a strike is brutal. Oh, we just need to end with less than 50. That's actually, that doesn't, doesn't seem too bad. Because we can get over 50 points in just one turn. Woo! Got one, baby! No, but I hit an imp! How do you, like, control the angle? Back to zero points, okay. Okay, we angled it in the proper direction. That was beautiful. I almost hit the guy. <laughs> Come on, one more, one more bit of points. Why are my reflexes so bad? No, no. Dude, that was a slower one. Okay, I hit everything. Wait, that was a hundred points? Oh, that's what I needed. Did I do it? You recovered only one heart. My prize was to recover a single heart? What? What? Not even a heart piece? Okay, lame. I mean, I don't feel like I necessarily deserve a heart piece because I played like Kaka, but at the same time, man. This isn't good. Yeah, so I have the clock if you want it. Yeah, let's show him the Po clock. Hmm, TikTok? That tells time? Are you giving me this clock? Don't say a word. Of course you will. What a big help. Here's your reward. Now I'm off to work. I'm a workaholic. I totally thought he called himself an alcoholic at first. We got stationary. Yay. Now we can write some letters to the villagers in Animal Crossing. Because <laughs> that's the only place where you write letters, apparently. I'm trying to think of the last time I wrote a letter. I kind of want to, like, write a romantic letter to somebody now maybe i'll do that for valentine's day i'll write my crush a romantic letter and then they'll probably think it's cringe i can only see her as a monster in human guise and Nairu used to be a good girl but she was a good singer and she sold her soul to the devil and now she's making a lot of money as a pop artist let's go girl Okay, so is the second dungeon going to be in the past? This seems to be the only option. What's up with this grandma in the woods? My husband gave Queen Amby that which pleases her, but he was still taken to work on the Black Tower. I want him back. Seems like if your husband goes to work on the tower, it's like he's off to war or something. I've been tremendous power. Wait, where do I get these bombs? Do I have to go in this cave up here? Also, while I'm thinking about it, on the very first episode of every Let's Play I do, I like to ask the comment question, 
What is your experience with the game that I'm playing? Have you beaten this game? Is this your first time watching it? Have you dabbled? Have you watched the Let's Play? Let me know any and all experience you have with this game down in the comment section below and any memories you might have with it as well. So much abyss, it feels like it could be in an area from Undertale. Whoa, no, not the crab bushes again. The crab grass. The worst. In Zelda games and on your front lawn. Is there anything in here? Please tell me this isn't a dead end. No, I refuse to believe it. I refuse. I can't even dig in here. I can in some spots, just not on the cracked ground. What, I can't, I can't dig this up? Okay, that's just lame. What kind of shovel is this? Must be made of plastic or something. A styrofoam shovel. The worst kind. This guy looks pompous. Somewhere in the woods is a tree that bears very special seeds. So be it. I'm gonna find something that Queen Ambie desires so I don't have to work at Ambie's tower. Deep in the woods are magical seeds and an owl statue. When the seeds are placed on the statue... Okay. I feel like I already know how to play this game since I played Seasons, which is kind of nice. I, f I don't feel like as lost or scattered as I did when I was starting my Let's Play of that game. Because this game just shares so many similar mechanics. Hmm. Is this going to give me that heart piece? Is this how we enter the cave from the other side? What is this? It won't open from this side. How do I get through? Can I push these? Okay, nice, nice. I'm gonna have to have you fall down the pit, sir. I'm sorry I had to do it to you. Get these boogers out of here. This is a weird looking chest. Why is it so red? I've never seen that red of a chest. He's so angry. So angry. Are we searching for that which Ambi desires? You should not go any further. There are hordes of terrible beasts. And I'm one of them. I'm the most terrifying of them all. I am a little tall. Anything hiding? Hey, knew it. Oh, here's how we get to the other side of the cave. Is this going to give us a new heart? That is... Oh, that's number three. We're so close. So close! If Since we're starting off with an extra heart container, what do they do about the other four pieces of heart that we would normally find? Love. Love the seed. The secret is all the rage among Deku scrubs now. Uh, yeah. Spill the tea. Next is... Okay, I just wrote that down on the back of a parking ticket <laughs> that I still need to pay. <laughs> um, yeah, I got it. The Deku Scrub, west of the sunken city in Holodrum, loves this secret. I do too. You should pay him a visit. Whoa. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna be going back to Oracle of Seasons or something? I wonder if that's worth it. You ass, get out of here. Okay, where's this next dungeon at? That's all I want to find. Ooh! It's the- it's the owl! I'm an owl. Oh crap, I can't- No, I can't get to him! The saddest of days. And this overworld is a puzzle to get through. We're making our way, though. So, it, maybe this game doesn't have Sabrosia. It just seems like it has... Just different variations of the overworlds. I was trying to buy the thing from him, even though I don't I don't even know what he was selling, because I wasn't reading it. <laughs> I was just glossing over it. I've always wondered, do you guys think humans read more in the modern day, or less? Because I would say humans read less books nowadays, but because of things like social media, and Twitter, and YouTube comments, and Reddit, and all that kind of stuff, video games, movie subtitles, I feel like humans probably read a lot more in comparison to the past, just because reading's technically like more fun and you can learn about a lot more stuff that, that you would want to. Well, there's just more ways to read, I guess, which really helps with increasing the amount people are reading. 
but I would argue that the information people are reading isn't necessarily higher quality. Uh, let's get these seeds. Mystery seeds. All right, now we just splash it on the apple. Splash. Do, for n do not forget to feed me mysterious seeds. Is that all you got? Okay, I thought he was gonna like tell us something cool, but I guess he's just the tutorial owl. What was happening? Cutscene? Those are the mystery seeds. Queen Ambia has been demanding. Nice work, kid. I'll take you to the palace. Wow, she. Not bad, kid. You found them. Now come with me to meet Queen Ambi. Oh shoot, we're done for. She's gonna hate us. She's gonna murder us on the spot. She's gonna put us down like a rabid dog. Is that her? Queen Ambi, he says he wishes to pay tribute. He brings the mystery seeds. Your majesty has been seeking. What have you brought before me? Um, I mean, nothing special really. They're just some grapes. <laughs> Nairu desires mystery seeds more than anything else. She will be most pleased. By what name do you go by, boy? Mario. I offer a reward, Mario. Bring it here! They're gonna bring shackles and put us in jail. I bet it's gonna be handcuffs. I don't trust her for a moment. This is your reward. Take it with you. With great thanks. I don't trust it. Oh! Bombs! Okay, sure, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Whatever. My palace is very large. You will not be able to find the way out alone. How come royalty always demands so much land for themselves? The self-importance certain people give themselves. That's insane. Will that boy be able to return? Do they want me to? Yes, your majesty. Wait, Nairu? Mario? Huh. You've done well. First, you let me through the barrier. Now you bring me the mystery seeds. Such a nice boy. Taking advantage of people's kindness is too easy. This makes one less thing that can obstruct my ambitions. But, my, these mystery seeds are unpleasant. Their sight and smell. Anyway. What is she whispering? Now, with my powers, the flow of time is yours to command. For you. I shall create a day that never ends, so the people will never sleep, and work on that tower can continue. And when the tower reaches the heavens, you shall go down in history as the greatest queen to ever live. Oh, I shall be known as a great queen. Nairu, Orc of Ages, give me an endless day so the people can work without stopping to rest. Young and old alike will work toward my ends. Does that... Just because the day never ends doesn't mean they're not going to get tired. There's a fallacy in your logic. We are closer to the Age of Shadow. But it's still premature. The true shadow will fall when the Black Tower reaches the heavens and I climb to its highest turret. Then it will come. <laughs> nice work, kid. Amy was most pleased. I do what I can out here. Good old Link Linkerson. Helping out thy neighbor. Okay, can I go to the western woods and finish up my work now? They keep holding me back. Ooh, Gasha! Gasha nut. Another ring. Uh, let's go get... I guess we can't get our rings appraised. It's, we're in the past. Never mind. We're just gonna head back towards the western wood, I guess. Oh! Maple's finally circling us again. Okay, let's make sure she runs into us. There we go. Dude, that's a lot of rupees to drop. Watch where you're walking. I came through this weird tunnel and was flying happily along when you ran into me. I'm Maple, the Great Witch, Syrup's Apprentice. Why does this happen to me? The Great Witch is so mean. She even took away my picture book. Doesn't anybody have that book? Now you come along and make me drop all my stuff. Anyways, it's all got me mad. I'm gonna take your stuff too. Okay, not if I get it first. Bitches be crazy. Oh, she got the last one. See ya. I'm pretty sure I got the better end of the deal right there. 
Almost positive. Okay, where can we go over here now that we have bombs? Did you find what Hamby desires? Yep. And you will not believe what she gave me in return. Literal explosives that don't work on the things that I thought they would. Today, my pet chameleon started digging in the dirt for the potted plant that's in her cage so she could lay eggs in the dirt. And I actually washed her lay a few eggs. It was so cute. She's the cutest girl ever. Why are these people all being so nosy? Oh, here's the, the house we were looking for. It's blowing this up gonna break it down. I hope so. Level two wing dungeon. I don't see why we can't go ahead and start it. Wait, did I already use all my mystery seeds? Oh, they took the mystery seeds, that's right. I was about to say, I didn't use them all already, did I? We got some spinies. Let's make sure to shield it up. Some blue shells, whoa! Mario Kart called. They want their enemies back. Oh. There's an open door to the side. I'm just gonna push this in the hole. Oh, it has to be a red flame. Okay, I need to get the blue side up right in here and I'll be good. This seems like a little bit easier said than done. Oh wait, this might work. Yeah! Okay, maybe the other side works too. <laughs> correction, slight correction. Ooh, I see some train tracks. I love riding in the minecarts. Well, is this the game where they move like super duper slow? <laughs> I think so. Okay, we can't kill these guys. And hopefully we don't get a freaking sh seizure from looking at them. We will be able to once we get the boomerang. Assuming we get the boomerang. In Oracle of Seasons, we got the upgraded boomerang where you could like control the trajectory of it, which was pretty neat. I would love to see that again. Oh, oh no, oh no! That was, oh god, oh god! <laughs> they were cornering me. Was the locked door back in the first room? Ooh, shortcut? Can't get past me. I'm slippery. Map? Nice. Okay, what does this dungeon look like? The wing dungeon. Oh, it kind of looks like a bird. And please don't make me kill them. Whew, that was close. Okay, these snakes rush you, but fortunately they have like literally no health. So, <laughs> it's like no problem whatsoever. No problemo. Just going down the Drano. We already have all the navigation tools. That's all I could have ever asked for. You guys think you're so bad with your big long swords? Well, you are. I do find you rather scary. Ah, oh, another bumble wall. Well, this is why we have the compass to find stuff like this. These moblins are just like so grumpy. Just marching around with their pouty faces. Ooh, are we about to get the item? I'm hoping so. Oh shoot, do we wanna fake this one out? Yeah, whoa, what? How did I get squished? Excuse? Oh, oh no, what the heck just happened? That was lame as heck. <laughs> okay, this time, kill the keys first. That always comes first. We're good, we're good. We survived. Thank the Lord. Back to snake season, baby. Everybody loves snake season. Okay, what are you guys hiding back here? What's in the mini fridge? I know you guys have the cookie dough. Give me the cookie dough. Can't hide cookie dough from me, honestly. I will find it, and I will eat it, whether you like it or not. Where are we going? Where are you taking me? 
We do go so slow in these minecarts. Oh shoot. I only have half of my life. Whoa, was this a gremling? <laughs> One with no wings is no match for me. Okay, you're right, I don't have wings. I'm just kinda scared. What do I wanna use against you? I guess I'll just stay on the ground for now. Well, what did you do? You broke the floor, can I fall down there? Mm -mm. Is he just making the, the playing field harder to run around on? I don't wanna run over the, the hole in the ground. Oh shoot. Dude, this guy's like Dumbo, pretty much. It's like the demon version of Dumbo. Do you do anything else? Or do you just rinse and repeat the whole time? <laughs> this guy looks so funny. Kinda looks like a weird bulldog. Oh, wow. Oh, he's getting crazier now. He like slid around. Oh crap. Oh my god, I killed him with half a heart left. No, give me the fairy! Dang it. Come on, you can't end me with this beeping sound. Give me something. Oh shoot. I can't believe I missed the fairy. That's so bad. I'm sad about it. And we don't have the key. Where does this lead to? Death, most likely. Yikes. I'm literally hanging onto a thread. And they're gonna be throwing spears at me all over the Yep, there it is. Alright, I think that's a sign to go ahead and end the episode. Join me next episode where we will finish level two. The the winged dungeon? The winged dungeon of raw. You guys are awesome. Stay sexy, and I'll catch you next time. Yeah, Deuces. yeah, yeah, you see me making rubies pockets looking like a Skittles bag. Buy a hundred of bombs and blow it up, it cause a lot of lag. There's a lot of weapons, only I can wield the master okay. sword. If it's Stathos in my way, I'll swing and break his spinal cord. Nothing can stop me, not a dragon, not a hoe. You think I'm capping, hang up me and then you'll know that I'm chosen.